Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boobs in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. All right, y'all. So if y'all do not know, I moved to Houston. It's been past six months now. Um, and my entire move was extremely crazy. Hated it. Uh, and honestly got turned off with the idea of even decorating for real, for real. So I've been putting off decorating for a long time. But now I'm in the mood of like, let's get our stuff together now. Like, you know, now I really do want to enjoy my house now that I'm, I'm a bit more settled in and I'm more optimistic of just everything in general. So yeah, y'all, we're going to be redecorating my house. We're just gonna be adding some touches to my crib and I'm just super excited to do it. Just so, I guess I, I guess it's more of just like about seeing my growth in my style. If you guys did not know or did not see in my last apartment, cause it was many times where I posted, I guess like around my house on Instagram. My house was very like monotone. Like, it was very monotone and also monotonous. Like, it was just black, silver, and gray. And I am tired of that. I actually want to add color into my house so it can feel more warm and cozy and homey. But in the same breath, still not doing too much when it comes to the color. Which I think I've decided now is I definitely want to go for, let me not say pastel colors, but... um definitely still include the neutral colors so like browns and creams um but i also do want to add some green in here i love green i don't know what green does to me but it just does something you know um so i definitely want to add some green in here so um let me show y'all my plan and hopefully everything manifests exactly how i have it in my brain um because it's definitely gonna be a lot different from like your typical influencer house okay so I'm actually going to put down the type of rug that I want to use um, when it comes to uh, over here because I do want to add an area rug. So the area rug right here is definitely going to be way bigger than the couch itself just so it could kind of cover up, you know, the entire couch. One thing I definitely hate is when um, people have rugs that are smaller than their couches. It looks crazy to me. I feel like the rug should be underneath the actual couch. It doesn't have to come past the back of the couch, but definitely underneath the couch for sure, and then come past the length of the couch. So that's the type of rug I wanna get. I think I'm definitely gonna be getting an eight by 10 uh, rug, and it has like m like multiple colors. It has like pink and cream, but it's still very like minimalistic, but have a pop of color. So that's what I have plan for this area right here now for the chairs my cousin did get me some chairs already um these are some cream chairs um that i got from amazon and i am going to link them on my amazon storefront if you guys want to get in tune let me just show you how it looks real quick so boom this is how it looks now i am going to list the new seats that I do want to get and it's going to be completely different from this it's actually going to be a different shape and bar stool altogether but it's still going to have that black um stool so it will still be similar it'll still be the same just like different tops and the bar stool that I want to get is a green bar stool so I am super excited to kind of mix and match in here because yeah, I feel like I just want to give life in here because as y'all can see, my kitchen is gray. And it's almost as if like my old apartment just mixed in colors. Because um, in my old apartment, my wall like or like my accent wall was gray and everything else was white. Here, everything is kind of white and the cabinets are gray. So, yeah, y'all, I'm like super excited to work on this. As y'all can see, I do have my little, well not little, but I do have my plant over here 
And I do plan on putting my mirror that I had in my bedroom. It's a silver mirror over here. And then this is my fireplace. So we're going to put up the TV today. Hopefully he responds to me today. If not, tomorrow. But as y'all can see, I still have my happy birthday stuff up. It's April and my birthday was in January. Don't judge. It's cute decor. Sounds like, you know, let me just leave it, you know, because I, I feel like it's better than having a plain wall. But yeah, y'all. Oh, we're going to fix this up because what the hell is even that? Like, daddy freaking chill. But yeah, that's pretty much the plans that I have for my living room. I also have a sound bar as well, too. So we're going to put up the TV, the sound bar, and um, the fireplace, and put my um, mirror over here as well, too. So I'm super excited to re this place and finally actually start living in it. So we're going to give... I'm going to give you guys a grand tour of how things look like before the glam, all right? Now, as y'all can see, this is my TV. I think I have, if it's not a 65 inch, it's definitely probably a 75 inch. But it's between a 65 or a 75. I think it definitely is a 65. I could be wrong though. But um, yeah, y'all, this is my TV. It is packed away. And I'm going to wait for the guy to come before we go ahead and, you know, um, do our thing when it comes to putting this up. I have not unpacked it. And I pray to the heavens that my stuff is not broken. It's not going to be broken, actually. We're not even going to speak that into existence. But anyways, I'm about to go ahead and work out real quick. And I'm going to wait for uh, my task rabbit. Um, I'm about to say employee. You are now one of my elite employees. No, but <laughs> um, the, pretty much the person that's supposed to be doing my task off a of task rabbit. I'm going to wait for him to reply to me. And we're going to figure out what's going to go on. He's supposed to come tonight at 8.30. Um, Cause I was just only availability, and I wanted to get this thing done ASAP. So I was like, you know what? The sooner the merrier. I literally just booked it just now. So we're gonna see, and I'm like super excited. My house is about to come together. So we're about to actually you not. Know we're gonna go ahead and take the wall decor down, um, and yeah, let's do it. <laughs> down finally after three months but we moved though we moved we moved wasn't too bad you know it's always a celebration clap clap bravo all right you guys so we are unleashing my fireplace oh my gosh i don't even remember the last time i've seen it I moved here a minute ago, so <laughs> and this is my first time seeing it. Yay! Oh, we thank God. The stones. Oh, wait, what happened to the stones? Oh, you probably just got it like. Okay, yeah. Scattered them evenly, spread them out. Okay, yeah, it's all there. Oh, that's good. Let's see. This is the. Uh, this is what we will attach the wall. I believe so. Yes. Not broken, the glass, that's, that's the main thing. Thank God. Guys, look at my fireplace.
Yeah, I think the position was actually perfect. Yeah. What do you think? So you guys, I actually got these wall panels, right? And I got them like a couple of months ago for my studio, but I'm thinking I actually want to put it in the living room. I think this is actually gonna look, gonna look really nice. Maybe probably like two of them. And I want to put it like on the side of the TV. So we're gonna see how that looks. Something like that. But like more? Let's see. Let's see. Now I'll also hold the other one next to it. Ooh, that's really pretty. Like higher? Definitely higher. Not too high? Um, well, we got the uh oh that's a I would actually want it to uh, fit the entire, um... Entire wall? Yeah. Probably have to cut them, right? I think so. I think those two is, is fine next to each other. I don't want it to be too thick, or what do you think? I say we, we put the TV on. TV on first? And then we'll see okay. how it looks. Do you want to have to put this one right next to you? Just like this? I think so. Okay. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, yeah, I think three. And then probably try to cut this last one. I guess one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just like all the way up. In the ceiling? Yeah. All the way down. I think all the way to the ceiling. Okay. You want me you want me to put the TV on first so you can see? Yes, we can put it on the TV. Alright, y'all. So right now he's about to create a hole inside the wall. I told him to do whatever. I already know that that, that deposit is gone, so <laughs> And this is just to help like hide the wires. So I'm super excited. But so far, we have the placement for the sound bar and then also um, the mount for the TV. And then look at my fireplace, just fireplacing. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at my baby. She's finally up. Now we're just about to, well, he's about to. Let me not say we. <laughs> He's about to hide the wires behind where he created that hole. You have like a Roku or something? No, this is a um oh, it's a smart Samsung. Thing? Yeah. Okay, good. So this is how my TV is looking so far. Y'all see how neat that is? Y'all don't see no wires. None whatsoever. But now we're about to go ahead and put up like the wall panels and stuff. And I'm so excited because it's supposed to look so far. So we're about to put up like three wall panels next to each other. Let's see. Okay, so three of them together? Yeah, I think three of them together would look good. So, I'm not going to it. I mean, he said what? I'm not going to. Um, Put it on you, measuring. Oh, you're measuring? Okay, my fault. <laughs> so, y'all, he just put up the first panel. And now he's about to put up the second one. This is looking fire, though. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so he just cut um, the fourth and last one. And he cut them into three pieces just so we could fit the bottom part. And it is looking so fire. Wow, it's as if like we didn't even cut it. It blends in so nicely.
and I feel like adding this overall just gave the ceiling more height. Yeah, it looks fire. All right, y'all. Last but not least, well, not last but not least, but for tonight, we're going to unleash my mirror. This mirror was originally in my room at first, but I'm going to transfer it out here since I feel like there's more silver out here than what I plan on having for my bedroom, as you can see. A lot of silver going on so I feel like this mirror fits better than my black mirror or well, my black mirror will fit better for my room I think that's oh oh dang it broke yikes it did it's cool though this is the mirror. Yay! Oh, and it's not broken, we thank God. <laughs> now it's time to shift her over here. Yeah, I think that she goes perfectly. Ooh. Over here? Yes. It's going to go against the wall. At an angle? Yeah, at an angle. Let me see. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, yes. Y'all, I am in awe. Look at, just look. My living room was not looking like this before, y'all. And he finessed it, y'all. Edson, definitely my go-to handyman from now on. Like, let's get into the details. Just look at this. Do y'all see that? No wires whatsoever. Not a single wire. Only place we have the wires are at the bottom. But yeah. And then we also put up the mirror as well too. And she's just looking hot. Like wow. Definitely gave it a nice pop of color now. Now the only thing we're missing now is honestly my rug and my two bar stools. And also too, I'm contemplating if I want to get a coffee table or not because I feel like this space right here is a little too big for me. Like it's a little bit too open, which I mean I don't mind, but I feel like I kind of want to fill in the space a little bit just to make it feel a little bit more homey. Let me know what y'all think though. But y'all, yeah, this is so beautiful. All right, y'all. So I look a little busted right now, but um, we're like a couple of days after you know we put up on my TV. Actually, it's been a week now since I put up my TV. And y'all, guess what came in the mail? <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> but y'all, yeah, my rug came in. Please don't mind my beeping. A uh, smoke detector it just started like a couple of days ago and I'm too short to reach it so we're suffering out here but y'all my rug came in or whatever my rug came in or whatever I'm so excited to unleash the beast so let me show you guys what's going on oh crap oh my gosh so this is the rug y'all it is super huge the rug that I did get I believe I got a 7 and 10 inches by 10 by 10 inch and this is from Wayfair so we're gonna go ahead and open up this bad boy but first let's go ahead and actually flip the couch upside down just so we could kind of get it underneath the couch I'm just calling, can't you play? 
Brittany, say hi to the bloggy blog. Wait, hold on, hold on, let me focus, man. Let me focus, man. There we go. Alright y'all, so this is the rug uh, in its full glory. Y'all see what's going on. I really love the color and I'm so happy I got this rug. It was actually between this rug and one other rug. I'm actually going to leave a picture of it down below. And I decided to go with this one and honestly I am really happy because the colors are coloring. So if y'all... I don't know if y'all can see this though, but like the base of it is like cream and we have splashes of color. We have some grays, some fuchsias, some oranges, yellow. So therefore, like even though like we have our base to be cream, we could still pull some colors out of here and like, you know, add it to like my pillows and stuff and to kind of just give it more life. So I'm really happy with my choice of carpet. As y'all can see, it kind of goes with like my little flower over here and it's just eating now my only thing is I'm trying to figure out if I want it if I want to leave it vertical like this or horizontal so like kind of like turning it so it could go this way well this way so the longer part will go this way and yeah I don't know y'all I don't know it is fakely giving probably horizontal. Je ne sais, je ne sais. Um, but yeah, not too sure. Because I do want to make sure that it kind of goes underneath this part or this part of the couch. I want it to go underneath this part of the couch. So it's not going to be as long and drawn out like how it looks right here. So we're going to see. Let's see how that looks. I might just call and catch a play I might just come see you today You wait, I'm stuck up in my bed But love it when I'm playing games That's the only way we get away We stuck together, you must forever That's why I cannot go away I leave you screaming, leave me pain You find a way to keep me in Do some magic in the Alright y'all, so this is the entire setup. This is how the rug is looking like with the couch. And I am actually really in love with this. Of course, I'm going to be changing up my um, pillows because I do want it to have more of a pop of color. Just so that like the couch itself doesn't look very monotonous. Also too, I do want to change this throw because the throw is fake throwing this off. I think I'm definitely going to be putting this in my actual room because it's going to match more of the theme of my room or my master bedroom more than out here. And I think I probably want to get like a quilted um, cream, a quilted cream throw just to add some textures and stuff. So I'm just going to give you a little tour really quick of how it's looking. TV, we have the mirror over here. And then we're just going to go ahead and pan out to the couch and the rug. So, y'all, I'm thinking I asked my close friends what color pillow I should use. And the pillow that we're, I got some color su suggestions that I should use is like orange, fuchsia, 
Um, I asked about chartreuse. A lot of people weren't jacking the chartreuse. So, I mean, I get it. But, you know, they were definitely more teeter-tottering against, like, the fuchsia, mustard yellow, and orange. Which, I mean, I could agree. Because I feel like the two chairs that I do plan on getting are going to be um, olive green anyway. So, I don't want too much greenery going on. So, I mean, that's cool. We're going to see which one I choose. And, yeah, I'm super duper excited, darlings, for the turnout. So, yeah, y'all. 